Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and uh, it is Monday, <clears throat> the day after May 21st, or a couple of days later, so quick note on that. Um, the Lord said no man knows the, the day or the hour. We, we can know the season, um, but to start counting days and guessing days, I mean, realistically, and I said this to my, my church, if every one of us picked a day on the calendar and everyone had every day covered, sure, someone's going to guess it, but no one knows it. And uh, I absolutely we, I mean, realize that <clears throat> uh, the Lord is coming back. There will be an end of the world. Um, and we can know the season. The key is not necessarily when's it going to happen. The key is let's just be ready every day. We're in Psalm 133, Psalm 133, short three verses today. <clears throat> Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the beard, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Um, you know, the Lord is desired. <clears throat> now, I realize this. I'm going to say this because I realize that some people think, and there are those who believe that, you know, I don't need to be part of a local church. I don't really need, you know, you know, we're all, I'm, I'm part of the, the Church of Christ, the big church, and all of us together around the entire globe, we're all brothers and sisters, and that's great, that's good. But my friend, uh, I believe personal um, purpose, or individual purpose and corporate purpose is uh, strengthened and made even more valuable when we are together at a church. When we are spending our time with other brothers and, and other sisters and we're actually there with them, praying for them, uh, listen, having them pray for us, uh, receiving from their gifts and them receiving from ours. It's good and pleasant and it's right if you're not part of a local body, you need to find a local body and be part of one. It doesn't matter what they can do for you as much as, as much as it matters what does God want for you. There might be huge gaps in certain churches that don't have a lot. Well, maybe you're called there to fill those gaps. It's time for us to quit looking at what's best for us and start doing what's best for the kingdom. It's interesting, it talks here about two things. Verse 2, it talks about anointing. Verse 3, it talks about blessing. And so, <coughs> and I'm sure there are other great, great Bible scholars who could, who could read more into this than I could, but I see that unity is something so powerful that with great unity comes great anointing. That it is like the anointing oil of Aaron. Also with great unity comes great blessing. God can bless a people who are unified. And he has difficulty blessing a people who are not. The Lord hates discord. In Acts, um, the... Holy Spirit was poured out upon a people who were in one accord and praying. And you and I need to realize that when we are in one accord and when we're in unity, God is able to do amazing things. Jesus made a statement and he said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. And when a house, a local congregation, starts being splintered and fractured 
it loses anointing and it loses blessing. And then people start pointing fingers at why it's not anointed anymore or why there's no more blessing. And before you know it, it breaks apart. There, there are churches that fall apart every day, or I'm sorry, every year. Certainly not every day. But every year there are churches that fall apart. There are churches that are splintered and a group goes here and a group goes there and what's left are just pieces. <coughs> My friend, it's good and pleasant to work together, to live together, to dwell together, to minister together in unity. It brings anointing and it brings blessing. Find that place and do your part. Father, Thank you for your goodness and mercy today. And I ask, Lord, that you help us to understand and value our place in the local body. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.